before we go through to the details of this project, let me show you the components that we use in this project. For the second part, before we start placing the actual component on the actual breadboard, we test the circuit of the sensor component on breadboarding by using freezing. After testing the circuit using freezing, we place the actual sensor components on an actual breadboard. that we build a toy car frame using some woods and start to place the motor on the woods. In these phases, we will show you on how to put the driver component in breadboard by using freezing first before we move to the tutorial on how to place the driver component on the real breadboard. is the tutorial on how we put the driver component on the brake part. Here, we test the I2939 IC connection with the robot body. In this part, we will disconnect the continuity for the IC LM358. This is what we call solder base. The function of this solder base is to prevent oxidation and to make sure that the solder are easily stick at the PCB port. After that, we soldered the LM358. In this part, we soldered the potentiometer to the breadboard. We did a test to the sensor to check whether the sensor is able to function correctly or not. Unfortunately, we failed the first attempt of the test as the LED kept light up even though the sensor was placed at a dark surface. Find out the problem of the unsuccessful test that we did before 
we tried to test the black and white sensor by placing the photodiode and the IR LED far and near with each other. Instead, we found out that the IR LED and the photodiode ID were damaged. Since the sensor cannot function properly, we decide to do the troubleshooting using multimeter. So, we start to solder the driver to the breadboard again and solder the voltage regulator to the breadboard. is the result of the soldering. Finally, we put the sensor and the driver IC all together and start to test it again. And of course, after all the hardship that we need to go through, we did it! And not to forget, here is the final look of our project.